How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with it another review and tonight we're going to be doing a beer that I've had before but there's a little bit of a twist on it. Actually not so much of a twist other than I had it, I really liked it but it was really hop, not super hop forward but a bit too hop forward for me being that it's an American barley wine style ale and that is Trove's Flying Mouflin. Um, and uh, it's been, I don't even know, about two, maybe three years since I've uh, picked up uh, about a half a case of this. Haven't cracked one since. I really enjoyed it, but it was just a little bit too hoppy. And I uh, came home tonight, and uh, I don't know why I was thinking about it, but I was like, hey, you know, it's been a while. You should crack one of those, see how it's tracking. So I uh, figured we'd do that. And like I said, buying Mouflin from Trobes Brewery out of Hershey, Pennsylvania. It's their American Barley Wine Style Ale. Really dark American Barley Wine Style Ale from what I remember. Um, it was actually a weird beer in that um, I was doing some judging at a local, um, like a beer festival kind of thing. Nothing crazy, but um, it was the one that stole the show for me and that's kind of how I found out about it. So I'm super excited to give it another whirl, especially with some age on it. So. Uh, let's see what she's got. Uh, first off, label-wise, up top says uh, Trogues Independent Craft Brewery, um, Trogues, Pennsylvania. On the side, it says Dub the Fine Mouflin. This alluring ale is pushing our nugget nectar off the side of a cliff. Uh, tastes like hops dipped in candy sugar, rolled in dark chocolate nibs. Uh, Patient beer level lovers who sell a mouflin will be rewarded with mellowed hops and luscious balls. Cheers. So hopefully that's what we get in here. On the front, it says, uh, handcrafted by Trogues Brothers, fine mouflin, um, brewed by Trogues, brewery covered Hershey, Pennsylvania, 9.3% alcohol and recycling stuff, government warning, and that's about it. Uh, Label-wise, it's pretty cool, man. It's actually one of my, one of my favorite labels from Trogues, uh, to be honest with you. It has a beer cap uh, with a design in it that I can't make out. It just looks like a random kind of tribalish stuff. And uh, Devil's Tail coming off it and uh, some wings. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, like I said, I had it before a couple times, but when it was in its infancy. So, I'm super excited to give it a roll now and see what she's got. So, let's see. Hmm. Not going anywhere. Nice, nice, darkish brown on it. Um, like I said, a little bit darker than what you typically expect of American Barley Wine Style Ale. Super head on it. Crazy tiny bubbles. Nice creamy top to it. Um, like I said, that's that's just a really dank brown. I mean, if I hold some light up there, there's crazy density, crazy debris, crazy funk going on in there. Just everything that screams to me, a delicious beer. Um, yeah, it just looks delicious. And it smells delicious. You could tell that there were, it's an American Barley Wine style ale. Um, like I said, age-wise, uh, Trogues does not date their bottles, as far as I know. Um, I can't find anything on here. Like I said, if memory serves me correctly, it is... To pushing three years in age, so I mean, for me, that's about when American barley wines s typically start to turn um, deliciouser, if that's even a word. Um, but like I said, you can smell that there were hops involved there, but there's this nice malty toffee caramel goodness that's going on in there, almost um, old English ale-y um, in in a sense. Get a little bit of chocolate from there, not a ton, but it's just that old hop combined with that malty, sugary, caramelly goodness that just kind of comes forward on it. It really smells really nice. It, pretty much what I remember smell-wise is that hops just dot back, just a hair. <sighs> Delicious. Got to dive right in there. Cheers. Didn't age like I expected it to. 
it tastes very similar from memory of what I've had years ago. Uh, I started doing uh, beer reviews uh, several months ago. Uh, I mean, I'm drinking good beer for almost two decades now, but I started doing video beer reviews about um, uh, several months ago, so I don't have on record when I taste it other than my memory. And it's, it tastes like it's very similar. Just with that, not even that the hops are dialed back. They're still there. It's just, they, they, they punch and then stop. They don't keep heightening, if that makes any sense. It's not, it's not so much that they've settled down in their forcefulness. The forcefulness is still there. It's just they don't keep rising once you taste it. Um, we have that nice, soft mouthfeel to it. That's, it has in spades. Really soft, really creamy, really nice. Um, not as sweet as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit sweeter. I was hoping it would be a little bit sweeter, but it's not. Um, and uh, that caramelly, good toffiness, goodness that you would typically expect to taste from the nose just isn't there so um for me this is uh this is one i need to kind of let sit for a little bit longer like i said it has about two or so two to three years on it it didn't get markedly better but it didn't get worse either based off memory so i'm yeah, gonna have to let it sit for just a little bit longer really drinkable i mean you're talking about um, almost 10% beer that goes down like water. Superb mouthfeel. You know, uh, nice little bit of caramel caramelness to it. Um, and that's about it. I mean, it's just that, that, that hot bite that I thought would be totally gone by now is still there. So hopefully... Age does it even better. Uh, rating wise, uh, based off memory, if I was going to give it a rating, you know, it's kind of arbitrary or weird to give it a rating off something you're thinking about from years ago. And I'd probably give it like a mid 80s, 85. Probably get really close to that with this one, probably like an 86, 87. So it hasn't gained that much um, taste wise. And as far as uh, availability and value, I mean, if you can still find it, it's obviously something you want to pick up just to see how it kind of develops and ages. Um, I think I was paying like $7 a bottle uh, for one of these kind of 500, you know, 450, 500 bottles, um, which is really a fantastic price for the kind of beer it is. Um, and availability in this area was plentiful, but even now, actually now I can still find it on a couple shelves. But... Um, you know, it's sparse, it's sparse now. I don't think it's a beer they produce all the time. That's the thing. I don't see it all the time. I saw it for a while, about a year, year and a half, and then it just kind of died away. So without doing a little bit of back research, which I don't do typically bef um, before I taste a beer, I'll give it a big NA on uh, value and availability. So, yeah, like, let's give it an 87 overall with the age on it. Not too bad. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, if you are an American barley wine style ale fan and you like your stuff to have a decent hot bite to it that likes to linger, doesn't go away, Fine Mouflin uh, is your beer. Uh, if you like stuff that's got a really awesome mouthfeel, uh, it is nice density. I mean, I wish I could, I could show you the gravity to this. It's fantastic. If you like beers of that vein and give it a whirl too. So yeah, another review in the books. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, if you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're way more active on Instagram, so if you can check us out anywhere, check us out there. And yeah, Matt, that's some beer reviews. Another review in the books. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice aged beer right now. And Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.